All right, so I had this tire sitting over there in the woods and I just grabbed it and carried it over here. And I was setting it down. I noticed that there was a little something extra in the tire. Uh, I'm not sure you can see that real well. But uh, there's a snake in there. And I'm pretty sure it's cotton mouth. And uh, we're going to have to do something about that. See his head there? Little tongue flicking out. So I'm going to go need to get me an implement of destruction and dispatch him because we don't want him around the house. There he is. Alright, so I got me a implement of destruction and a secondary implement of destruction. I'm going to take him out in the driveway a little bit so that he can't get away and slither underneath that lawnmower or something. Uh, so that way I don't have to chase him around too much. Alright, so I'm just going to grab this with my hand. I should be safe. There we go. Alright, so you can see he's angry. We got him pinched in there. You can see the fangs. He definitely a... Definitely a cotton mouth. And he's definitely angry. If I could cut him in half there, I, I would. I just don't think I can get enough leverage. Around the head, so I just can't get enough leverage with this to cut it off. Good news is, I do have my pocket knife with me. Alright, so if I can keep him in place there, and I can cut his head off with the pocket knife, he'll be done and over with.
don't know how this head hasn't popped off there yet. It's almost through. There we go. All right, now we can reach in and grab the body and get rid of that. All right, so another good example of why you shouldn't leave old tires laying around. Not only are they bad for mosquitoes, but they can hide snakes. Some kid come along, pick that tire up, decide to play with it, get bit. It's not good. Now I need to go clean up my pocket knife. <laughs> 